hey, can you believe that this guy slept on a hardwood floor just for VR gaming? What a d Hi everybody, name's Gregory. I'm just your usual gamer, degenerate weeaboo, and lazy mad scientist that you will find just about anywhere. And uh, I've got a bit of a problem. This thing. This thing down here that I'm currently upon is my problem. You see, I've built up a brand here on YouTube for being a bit of a virtual reality enthusiast. Which, if you know anything about the goggle-wearing, arm-swinging hobby, you'll know that you'll want a good amount of space in order to play with this stuff. Which, you tell me, a queen-sized bed in the middle of a 12 foot by 12 foot room with a giant gaming desk, workbench, 3D printer, a sweet 55 inch TV on the wall. Yeah, that combination isn't gonna work out too hot in the long run. So I've been trying to think up solutions for a while now as to what I could do. I considered moving out, but right now I really can't do that because my family kind of needs my help. Uh, I wanted to get a smaller bed, but then I realized that a twin is still going to occupy a good amount of space and it's going to take a whole lot of effort to rearrange the room again in order to accommodate that kind of a thing. And uh, yeah, I also considered doing a whole Murphy bed thing, but have a look at the price. Yeah, does it look like I'm about to spend a thousand freaking dollars on a Murphy bed? Look at my shoes. These things got holes in them. I can't even afford good sneakers. The hell am I doing buying a freaking Murphy bed? So yeah, having exhausted all of the sensible options to resolve my problem, I have come to the decision that I'm going to have to go to drastic measures in order to resolve my problem. I need my gaming PC. I need my workbench. I need my sweet TV. Sleep? Sleep is negotiable. We can figure something out for that. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm actually gonna get rid of this bed. Like, right now. Now. When in doubt and you need to solve your problems, I think power tools can get the job done! Yeah! Oh, um, yeah, I think saner heads prevailed here. Well, everyone, this is pretty much right outside of my house. Uh, truth be told, my parents actually want to keep this thing for some reason. I don't know why, but I am still going to have to sleep on the floor. But we got to go upstairs, get all the rest of the stuff ready. And hopefully you're going to be able to see the reason why I'm doing all of this. Well, I actually went and did it, everybody. Bed's gone, took out the metal frame. Got rid of the stuff that was under my bed that you shouldn't be looking at. And we've got all of the room so I can use my good old Facebook privacy invasion machine in order to have myself the time of my life in a virtual paradise where people actually care what I think. And I feel 20 minutes later. Two hours later. Uh, I'm gonna do a time lapse of this first night sleeping uh, on the floor from here on in. Don't think that I'm completely insane. Of course, I'm obviously not gonna sleep every single night the rest of my life on a hardwood floor. At least I hope not, but. Anyhow, I have a plan in mind, but for this first night, I decided to go ahead and experiment a little and see whether or not the whole image of somebody being huddled up in a small corner, sleeping in, you know, VR gear or something, is really all that bad. Uh, yeah, more than virtual dream. And everybody, yeah. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's like been four hours or something since I went to bed and still just have the, yeah, just the wood, the pillow, and, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I woke up with like some major cramp in my leg. Like, oh God, it hurt like hell. Seems well, kind of like a Charlie horse, but except from both legs simultaneously. And I uh, can't help but get the feeling that it's maybe not a coincidence that that happens the exact day I decide to, you know, sleep on the freaking floor. Like I mentioned, that this is, can't really be the ultimate solution here. There's gotta be a, a better way to do this. So uh, I'm gonna try to figure out uh, if I'm, how I'm gonna sleep for the next few hours or if I'm gonna get back to sleep for the next few hours. And uh, I'll get back to you guys on what I come up with. Oh. Six and a half hours late. Yeah, that was a thing. I managed to sleep through basically the whole night and basically the whole morning uh, on the floor. Well, I say sleep through, but we did have that little bit in the morning where I woke up at five in full body agony as I basically felt cramps across every single part of my body that could have cramps and parts that I didn't know could. And uh, yeah, we managed to get through it. It was the opposite of pleasant. I don't think I'd ever want to do this for the rest of my life, but it was done and it was a good test. So I definitely want to say if you're going to be going for the full on cyberpunk future, you're definitely going to want to make sure that your VR headset has some pain reduction functionality so that you don't feel the utter agony that your real world body is likely going to be in in the process. But all this stuff aside, if I'm not actually planning to sleep on the floor all the time, what is my solution? Because you guys know the bed's not, the bed's not here. I kind of took that thing down and I don't feel like getting that thing all the way up. I'm a lazy mad scientist, remember? So uh, yeah, we got to find a way to get a little bit more comfortable here. And I thought about a few solutions for a while there. And then you know what I realized? I'm not just a lazy mad scientist. I'm also a degenerate weeaboo. This is my solution, people. A futon. <laughs> this is my solution to being able to sleep from here on in. Let's see whether or not this thing's actually the size I requested. Oh, yep. Oh God, this is a million times better than what I just endured last night. Gurg, wait! Couldn't you trip while you're playing VR with your setup like this? Your closet seems pretty full, so what are you gonna do with your futon while you're gaming? That's a good question. I spent a whole week trying to address it by building an automatic voice assistant controlled lift for my futon. My first attempt was using a fishing wheel that could probably take my head off if I wasn't careful. Next came the use of a trailer winch using a motor that was far too small and would either fail or take too long to lift things. Ultimately, I found a much easier way to solve my problem. How you get the fancy bed down? Release clip one, release clip two. No. Don't make things too hard on yourselves, people. 